Here is the slave cylinder of a Honda Civic EG with a D-Series engine, non-VTEC. First, you need to remove all of the brake fluid from the reservoir. Use a syringe to suck all of the brake fluid. Put the old brake fluid in an empty container. Put a drain pan underneath the slave cylinder. Before we remove the two bolts that holds the slave cylinder, we need to loosen the bleeder valve and the brake line to let the fluid out. Remove the bleeder valve cover. Use an 8mm wrench to loosen and remove the bleeder valve. Drain all of the brake fluid. Next, loosen the flare nut of the clutch line. The brake line is held by a 10mm flare nut. But I've used a 9mm wrench. Simply because the 10mm wrench has a clearance on the flare nut, which can cause damage to the flare nut. The 9mm wrench that I use doesn't fit. So I shape the ends until it perfectly fits a 10mm flare nut. This is a cheaper alternative when you don't have enough money to buy a special tool like a flare nut wrench. Grab a 12mm socket or wrench to remove the two bolts that holds the slave cylinder. These are two 12mm bolts. Take the slave cylinder. Let it drain for a bit. Make sure not to let the brake fluid touch any painted surfaces. Brake fluid is corrosive to paint. Take the boot out along with the push rod, which was left from the slave cylinder. Here's a closer look of the slave cylinder. This is the push rod, which is held by a rubber boot. You can buy good replacements with these reputable Japanese brands. This dust boot should be soft, but since it is old, it is hard and a bit brittle. I will still use it since it still does the job. This is my spare part, a replacement for my slave cylinder. Take note of the code so you can get it correctly. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. Push rods are in a different shape and sizes. The end of the push rod tends to wear out, and when that happens, it causes squeaking noise when depressing the clutch pedal. The other end wears out less. It is seated here on this piston. This is the new one, which needs some grease upon reinstallation. Before I reinstall everything, I will clean the surroundings of this area with some diesel and WD-40. You can use some degreaser as well. I will clean the dust boot since I will reuse it.
I put some high time grease on the fork where the push rod is connected. Then, I will now assemble the new slave cylinder. Put some grease on this spot. Insert the push rod on the dust boot. Put some grease again on the end of the push rod. Then, reinstall the push rod along with the dust boot. Remove the cap off. Lastly, put some grease on the push rod. The dust boot has holes on it so that water can escape. Install the dust boot first. Then insert the new slave cylinder. Make sure that the push rod is connected to the clutch fork. You will feel it when you install it. Then, reinstall the clutch line flare nut. Hand tighten only for now. Reinsert the two 12mm bolts. Then tighten the flare nut. And of course, the two 12mm bolts that holds the slave cylinder. Last thing you need to do is to bleed the system. I have already a video for that. Just check the link on the screen or in the description box below to watch that video. So there you have it. We successfully replaced the clutch slave cylinder. I hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you.